Soccer A 2012 in just two days until our England and rest of the world teams battle it out in front of 75,000 fans at Old Trafford. I'll be chatting to none other than Jason Isaacs and Gerard Butler very, very soon. But first, a special film from this year's players telling us why they're taking part in Soccer Aid. I'm playing in Soccer Aid for Amma. I'm playing in Soccer Aid because Amma struggles to survive every single day. I'm playing in Soccer Aid because the only access Amma has to water is from a contaminated river. I'm playing in Soccer Aid because Amma's little sister contracted cholera from that river and died. I'm playing in Soccer Aid because Amma and her family still drink that same water. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be like this. We need your help to protect children like Amma. It costs just five pounds to provide clean, safe water for a family like Amma's for a fortnight. Text donate to 70442 to give five pounds. That's donate to 70442. Please join our team tonight. Donate now. And if you'd like to help change children's lives, then you can give £5 to Soccer 8 by texting DONATE to 70442. Each text costs £5 plus one standard rate message, and the full £5 from each text will go to UNICEF. You must be 16 or over, and please ask the bill payers' permission. Don't forget that every single pound you give, it'll only be matched by the UK government. <laughs> Now it's time for our final guests before the teams all leave for Manchester. It's Jason Isaacs and Gerard Butler. <laughs> now, Gerard, where have you come in from? Uh, I just came in from Cannes. Ooh la la. Ooh, ooh la la. Thank yeah, you yeah. so much for joining us. Are you excited to be here? Um, yeah, I can. In the studio here with you. Well, I that's... think this is the most. I mean, who cares about 75,000 people, Theatre of Dreams, By the way, Trafford? It feels like there's about 75,000 people in the studio, and that's when I walked into it. I just got in about half an hour ago, and it was. Um, you know, I, I've never seen. This is the high point of my life, I think. This moment. <laughs> You know, with oh. all these boys are <laughs> Oh, Gerard. Oh. So what's your footballing history? Have you played? Uh, is are there you a footballing history? Yes. Do you, um, do you play? Do you play on a regular basis? Did you used no, to play? No, I played for my secondary school. I played for a couple of pub teams. Right. So I haven't... Like, I played for Celtic um, for 10 years. No, I played for Celtic. <laughs> I, I know I you're a Celtic for, fan. I'm a Celtic fan. I played a game against Manchester United. I actually played against Roy Keane about eight months ago. But I can pretty much say I touched the ball about three times. I thought after five minutes I thought about going off, and then I, maybe I, I can't do that. And they kept me on for seventy minutes because they're going, well, you know, he's come all the way from LA. Let's let's keep Let him have on. a play. Yeah, but no, I think I've played about five competitive games in the last twenty years. So, so here we go. I can't wait. Well, fingers nice. crossed. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Um, Jason, you, you're not very well, are you? No, I've done a leg. I blame Matt Williams. Where's Robbie gone? Do you know where's he gone? He's gone home. I don't know. Yeah, I don't blame him because he he called me uh, when I said I do it, and I said I'm not very good at football. Yeah. And, uh, and I got a message from him on my phone, which I kept uh, because it's Robbie Williams, and it's mm -hmm. uh, and it says, <laughs> he goes, hello mate, it's Rob. I understand you think you shit at footy. <laughs> but <laughs> Here's the thing, there's a lot of people on the pitch that are really fucking good, so just get rid of it. Just get rid of the ball as soon as you can, kick it away from you, and just don't try and do anything cleverly, make a fool of yourself. So, right. just get fit, get really fit, get fit, get fit, get fit, however fit you are, it'll be fit enough. Well, but so we'll have the a right one, laugh. So, the one thing that he told you to do, get, get fit. fit. So, I was filming something and I had no time, and then uh, about two weeks ago, I panicked, because mm. I heard the message again, I was playing it mm. <laughs> to someone. And uh, I called a trainer, and I went to, went to him, and uh, I, he said, what do you want to do? And I said, beast me for two hours. Beast, beast me, you? Beast me for two hours, and he did that. And, uh, and then I called a tennis pro, and I went to the tennis court, and, I, and he said, what do you want to do? I said, run me around for two hours, and then right. I went and played up at Robbie's Pitch. You know Holland. there are special clubs you can go yeah. to for that kind of thing. You what, don't beasting? just have... <laughs> And then I woke up the next morning, I went, Oh, wow, that hurts a bit. I was thinking, well, have I done it? And I arrived here and they sent me for an MRI and yeah. I've got a... Every time I walk past Kenny Dalgley, she goes, grade two, tears on three weeks. <laughs> so uh, the doctor at the club said that uh, I, sh I'm, I can't sprint right. and I can't kick the ball, which, having seen the rest of the world train, put through the same category as most of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I thought, 
OK. I thought I'll go on. The plan is I'll go on when we're about 12 nil up. OK. And it doesn't matter if we can see the couple, because I'm not, not going on the pitch. I will go on the pitch. Well, that is fighting talk. Can I just say, by the way, I've been here 30 minutes. Yeah. And so far, I, I came in with a bunch of excuses for why I wasn't going to be that good, but yeah. so far I've heard torn tendons, tropical diseases, <laughs> bent pinkies, <laughs> bulging discs. I've never heard well, so many excuses. Like, how are you? Well, I'm screwed well, here. I'm, I'm going to buy me. <laughs> I'm just, I haven't trained, you know. I was never born in the first place. I've never... Well, <laughs> let's have a look. <laughs> and what has been going on for the past three days. Yeah. This is what you've been missing out on. Take a look. <laughs> of course, to do that gamble on the day if he actually scores. Um, Jason, the rest yes. of the world legends turned up today, and they are so impressive. What's happened to that Roy Keane? He's been letting go, hasn't he? <laughs> uh, it's 16 oh. stone. Oh. Oh. No. Do you know what? The, they the, don't look bad. Uh, do you think England are a bit frightened? Do you think it's making them a bit nervous now, maybe? Uh, you know... I don't want to get too rude about them, but I do think they're in for an absolute spanking, uh, having looked at them today. <laughs> our pros are very, very confident, and our amateurs are very, very cocky, and since I'm not barely going on the pitch, yeah. I think uh, it's safe to say it'll be about... I think they'll probably get a goal or two, because it's, it's for charity, we should let them score. Right. Say, <laughs> it'll be about 15-1, is my prediction, if you're asking. Really? Gerard, how are you feeling about going I on to the pitch? I think England's going to get more than one. <laughs> <laughs> confident because you haven't done any training at all and you're sitting there and you're going on to the pitch on Sunday um, no I'm feeling super confident I think that's the way to go about it it's really you know <laughs> just to play it cool and then I gotta say by the way Edward Norton looking a bit tasty <laughs> <laughs> sorry Ed but um, 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 <laughs> Because you're used to I'm, doing the whole training thing for 300, so have you been doing it? Have you taken on a serious... He just played a big wave surfer. He nearly died. Well, I'm sorry to tell you a story. He yeah. just played one of the world's greatest surfers and actually went out with him and nearly died, didn't he? I nearly did die, yeah. yeah. I didn't do that for this game. I was... Um, <laughs> no no preparation for this. You know, yeah. much as this is for the kids, and I think we really should support the kids, mm -hmm. I wasn't willing to put my life on the line this time. But I didn't do the same amount of training as, as 300, no. As okay. you can see, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm, I, I mean, I've been, I, I put in a couple of sessions, so I was actually, well, I was at the Cannes Film Festival and I, and I actually played a game with an amateur team there called yeah. FC on T, which was hilarious, you know. And how did you get on? Go? And I'm like, what? I, you know, I just I need more passe the ball, you know. And um, no, I was terrible. Oh. I was. Um, I thought that story might have been going somewhere <laughs> good, but apparently <laughs> it's a bit, a bit rubbish, really. <laughs> Both of you Can I say this, though? Can I say this? All the boys, this is their big dream, playing yeah. this football. And oh, I yeah. don't see why they should get paid by the public, thank <laughs> you, for doing that. Me, I might do myself permanent injury. I'm prepared to risk it. It's me you should get your checkbooks out for. Yeah. When I got on <laughs> yeah. well, the, the pitch, I am worth giving money to be, charity for. Absolutely. And there's a man who's going to be guiding us through the match on Sunday. It's Mr Dermot O'Leary. Oh. Oh. Look forward to uh, on air at six, kick yeah. off at uh, eight. I'd love to play because I saw that guy from Heroes and he didn't, couldn't do a throw in <laughs> last time. But then I watched uh, Ben Shepherd decapitate Henry yeah. Larson and I thought it probably isn't for me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so we've got guests that will be great. You know, it's, it's a great football game. And why should everybody at home be watching? It's gonna be, is it going to be that exciting? Is it going to be as exciting Firstly, as last year? Firstly, I have to say this to my father because obviously the rest of the world will retain the trophy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And secondly, obviously, for Eunice. So. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And to watch Ben Shepherd decapitate a pro. I mean, that's what you want to say, right? <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you for being here, Dermot. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much indeed. Uh, good luck to everybody.